We are learning more about a late night shootout in northeastern Lee County that resulted in one man dead and a sheriff's deputy hospitalized. It all happened in the community of Dime Box. KXAN's Tara Rachman spent the day there speaking with people who say they thought they knew their neighbor. DPS is one of the agencies that responded to this scene on Tuesday night, and now they're leading the investigation. We're still waiting for some answers from them, like why Raul Vega Perez entered this home behind me, or why he didn't show up for his court appearance, which is what started this all in the first place. This is how Roger Wubbenhorst spends part of his retirement, helping the community. He says someone who's helped him over the years, Raul Vega Perez. Just as friendly and smiling all the time, uh, help you do anything if you ask him. That's why Wubbenhorst and other neighbors were shocked about what happened to Perez overnight. I have seen him just yesterday. Lee County's sheriff says they were serving a warrant for sexual assault of a child after Perez failed to appear in court. He said they found Perez and chased him as he entered his relative's home. It was just sheriffs everywhere. And the sheriff said Perez then shot a deputy. He said the deputy and another DPS trooper returned fire. Perez was killed. As far as I knew, he was one of the greatest people in Dime Box. Never would have dreamt this came down. The deputy was hospitalized. Uh, he took two rounds uh, up in this area. This surveillance footage from a local grocery store shows crews loading one of them into an ambulance. I hate to see it ended that way, but not, and I hope the officer recovers. The sheriff says his deputy is still in critical condition and he thinks it'll be at least a week until he's discharged from the hospital. But he says he is conscious and improving and is expected to be okay. In Dimebox, Fahira Rahman, KXAN News. The Lee County Sheriff says the child sexual assault warrant they were serving Perez was for a recent case not related to his prior convictions, but here's a look at those priors that go back to 1974 when he was picked up for vehicle theft in San Antonio. A year later, he was arrested for aggravated assault of a child. In 1976, Perez was picked up for second degree rape in Bear County. Finally, in 1981, he was sentenced to 15 years for murder. That same year, he was ordered to report as a sex offender. We're trying to find out more information on that murder charge as well as the others and we will keep you updated on KXAN.com.